Asia, and welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap from your friends at Privateer FX. Just did a video, and I realized that my mute was on my mic, so I'm going to try this again. I'll keep it short and sweet. Here's a look at the uh, Euro dollar daily chart. We had the the red bar on Friday, and then a, a pretty decent move down. Um, if you remember, on Thursday we fell just shy of the high back set back in uh, September 12092. Up to about 89. There were really large offers uh, up at 12090. Closed positive on Thursday, and then Friday it sold off after the uh, the NFP numbers, which are actually a little bit weaker. And then today we had the big down move uh, from 120.50 down to a low 119.55. Uh, we remain bearish of this pair, looking for for lower levels. Uh, you can take a look at the the break that we sold during uh, during Europe which was through this 120, the figure level. Um, we got down to 119.55, as I said. And, you know, we're closing pretty weak, 119.67 last. So no reason for us to change our tune here on uh, our bearish views. I don't see why I can't get down to at least a third of this entire run up, you know, 300, almost 400 point move higher that we've seen since since uh since we made that low back in uh early december so we're looking for lower targets somewhere you know 119.50 a little bit of a pause maybe 119 the figure um we are closing we closed under the 200 hour the 100 hour and uh it's 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 looking increasingly bearish again last week we discussed this where the big boys were not in last week was still part of still still a part of the holidays. The, the U.S. corporates who are going to need to repatriate dollars haven't even, probably still haven't even met. I mean, it's the first day, real day back in 2018. And we think that there's a, a good chance, especially coupled with the, the long positioning, some of the longest positioning we've seen in years in the euro dollar, we think that there's risk of it uh, pulling back, and I could easily see this back down to even this two-thirds fib down at 118, uh, 118.60. And uh, and if the treasures, the U.S. corporates come in and they start really repatriating dollars, and you know they'll do this over a period of time of you know several months, there's no reason why we can't trade all the way back down to this old low in December, you know even this month. Um, just remember, January uh, last year, the market was extremely bullish, the dollar, and all it did was go straight down. This year, the market kind of is leaning toward bearish dollar. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up. Um, a lot of these banks, the trade recommendations, they just get it dead wrong, and they, they're usually stopped out of their positions, you know, in the first four to six weeks of the year. Um, one of our... Uh, one of our contacts at one of the major U.S. investment banks is calling for 110 in the euro. So that he, they're they're pretty much the only ones that are calling for a lower euro um, in the first quarter of the year, first half of the year. Everyone else is calling for higher euro, 125 and above. Um, let's take a look at the euro yen chart as well. Pop over to the daily. Pretty ugly pattern here with this this hanging man doji type day on friday big down day today um here's the old breakout this 134 50 60 area i don't see why we can't get back into this sideways range that um existed for you know really since september once we kind of broke out broke up here and then it just went sideways for several months so uh, we are positioning short euro dollar euro yen um you know, on kind of a tactical multi-day to a, a couple week time frame. Uh, U.S. 10 years, 
yields here we closed up at 248 one of the highest daily closes we've seen in a while you know we've, we've messed around here 250 is still our important level um, this could add give some legs to the dollar if we um, if he if we can get a like a, a daily close a couple daily closes over 250 there's a lot of room to the top side um, you know back to this 265 area I think you can get there quite quickly um, which would lend a lot of support to the dollar um, in other markets let's get right over to the cryptos because they had the biggest moves today um, if we look at Bitcoin here let's get over to the hourly and you'll see some of this ugly price action we closed up here yesterday 16,100 closed this hour right here below the 200 hour went straight down from 15,100 down to 14,000 that's a that's a significant move um, uh, ethereum even more impressive of a move and, and more impressive uh, bounce back from the high that we saw overnight at uh, 1,230 it dropped 22 percent over six hours or so bounced right back up and closed higher on the day up three percent uh, another one that we look at is ripple because ripple has been a, in a massive run up of late and we've talked about this in the past but similar th this dropped about 35 percent from the high up here at 330 down to it got down to 190 it did not stay there very long came right back up but this one still looks like it's uh, in a little bit of trouble it's trading below the 200 hour moving average so if you can handle the volatility then uh, you know I think this is the, these cryptocurrencies are definitely something worth day trading um, you know having in your having in your ar something in your arsenal to, to trade them but beware that there there are going to be 20 percent moves you know and I think that this volatility will continue to increase and You'll see 20% moves every day. Doesn't seem like the futures market has really done anything whatsoever to um, to soften the amount of volatility that comes with these uh, the cryptos. Uh, not much data coming out here in Asia. Building approvals out of Australia. Uh, really kind of waiting late week when we get U.S. retail sales and CPI and PPI. Um, not expecting much here in Asia. So good luck trading. We will talk to you on the European Open. All the best.